coverage you can count on. This is LEX 18 News at 5.30. That man hopes to turn the story of the state's worst school bus wreck into an inspirational film. And that's tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thanks for joining us at 530. It's one of the worst bus crashes in the country, and it happened right here in Kentucky. Now, more than 50 years later, a Georgetown man is turning the tragic story into a film. LEX 18's Adam Baker is here with more. In 1958, a bus carrying 48 students went off the road, plunged down an embankment, and sank into the cold Big Sandy River near Prestonsburg. The bus driver and 26 children died. 22 students managed to escape, and now filmmaker Michael Crisp says that's just the beginning of the story. Here's more in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 530. Yeah, there's actually where it occurred. The images are grim. There were just rows of hearses taking the bodies away. The details are gruesome. When they first got to the bus, um, there, there were quite a few body, bodies in the bus. And the stories are haunting. The last body, I believe, was found several weeks later. But filmmaker Michael Crisp uh, believes it uh, all needs to be shared. The mystery combined with a lot of uh, the stories and everything with it has kept the story very much alive today. Crisp and his crew are doing interviews, sifting through pages of research. You see their names, you see their ages, and you see these yearbook faces. But um, I'm wanting to bring them to life for a, a few more minutes, uh, or actually even beyond that, and, uh, and actually kind of talk to some people who could tell me a few stories about each one of them. And he's visited the crash site. There probably wasn't a dry eye uh, on the shoot. But as tragic as that day was, exactly. Crisp so says he hopes the film inspires. They did find the strength to go on, and the community rallied around each other and were able to, to get through everything. 